Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser, who is not good at algorithms. I'm making these videos to prepare my interview next month. Actually, it will be 10 days uh, from now. In this video, I'm going to take a look at 658, find k closest elements. Given a sorted array, hmm, sorted array, binary search. Uh, to introduce k and x, find the k closest element to x in array. The result would also be sorted in ascending order. If it's a tie, the smaller elements are always preferred. So example like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if we're going to search k and then find the uh, three closest numbers. The first, of course, three, right? Because we choose a smaller elements if there are a, 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 a draw, a tie. So the next one is 5 and then it's 2. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. K closest elements to x in array what closest to x so closest means five isn't it which is three okay and then two two is not close to five right hmm what does it mean uh, two integers k and x find the x k uh, find the k Closest. Ah, I got, I got, I got, uh, I misunderstood the, the, the order. So the first one is K, X is the target. So we first find a three and get the four numbers, right? Closest to, to, to three. So first one itself, uh, of course. But we, may, mm, so this number might not exist, right? Okay. And then two, uh, four, and then one right so one two three four if we find minus one we search on it so it's not there the closest one would be one and then two three five okay so actually actually the problem actually has two steps the first one is search the in search the position of this uh, target right search where there, where it is yeah and the next one is um, next one is we we, we, we find the cl k closest element for like here we search for three and we got here got this three right and then we could expand from to the left expand to the right I calculated the difference and uh, collect the uh, uh, the final result. But for this one, we find minus one. We can couldn't find minus one, so the minus one actually is placed here. And then we start loop, loop, looking uh, from left and right. Left, of course, there's no element, so we just do take a look at the right and collect the result. So, actually, the first one is find the position of x. And expand to wait to direction uh, by directional uh, in two directions, right? So the first one we need to do is do the search. Well, do the search. I think we could do recursion because it's sorted, and we can do binary search. Uh, we can go to cut down the half of the elements every time, averagely. If it would, if we have one, the I actually we, there will be. If we have, if there is an element, we find it will get like like this. If not, like we could get something like two. Uh, what is it? Like we search for minus one. We finally we will get to one and two, right? Uh huh. Actually, yeah. I think it should be infinity and one. It's bigger than infinity, but it's smaller than one. So actually, it's something like this. The index to expand from right is actually j here. All right. So the idea is simple. We do binary search. 
uh, to because we're going to search the position, right? There might be out of this range. I'll do a little trick. I'll do array push uh, on shift infinity. Push infinity. Okay, now let's search for the index. Let i equals zero. Let j equals ar dot length. This is not cool, but uh, I'll try to rewrite later. Okay, this is the uh, is the thing I can think of. While i smaller than j. Because we already uh, insert an element in, uh, infinity at the head and at the, the rear, it will fall into the case like this or like this. Right? Yeah, cool. So while it's smaller than it, we will choose the middle. Math floor. I plus J yeah and then if a r r middle equals to X if it if it's equal to it then we set I into middle Maybe not. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we should set minus one to something like previous one, like this. This is three for three, this is for minus one. Okay, so I move to the previous one. J equals middle. Else if AR middle smaller than X. So X falls on the right part. I equals to middle. Else is bigger than it. So J equals uh, middle. Right. For this case, we need to break. So actually, we get now. Now get i j, which x is at j or before j, right before j. So now, okay, now uh, now let's do the expand, right? Expansion. Result is this. Okay, for x, for i, we will minus down to one actually. For j, we will go to origin uh, the, the 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 element before the last one, which is infinity. So, okay, so, uh, wow, wow result the length is smaller than K. We will pick if uh, 
how can I do this clear, clever, in a clever way? The I might be invalid, right? Okay, because infinity actually doesn't well will, will, will actually work. Actually, we'll stop there. So, uh, so we don't need to care about the index. It won't expand to infinity because it's too big or too small. Okay, so if math abs a r r i minus x, right? Which is this one is smaller or equal to math abs a r r j minus x so we, we will push what we will unshift right it's not push we should unshift uh, a r r i because it's smaller no it's not we need to wait a minute how how should i do it okay let's see if results then equals zero of course we either way it's okay we push okay this one is smaller but we need to just oh okay for i we always shift there's no problem uh, unshift sorry for i always unshift we shift and uh, I will minus one else result push a r r i j j plus equals one yeah and then we return the result this should work hope so yeah seems seems working mm? time limit exceeded uh-oh it seems like for the in <laughs> Oh wow wow. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, it should not. Oh my god, this will end at a a i equals to j. So, well, j minus i bigger than one. I am so stupid. I am so stupid. Yeah. Cool. We are accepted, and the time and space complexity. Time. Well, binary search for an element, so it's a uh, o log n plus this is linear time, right? K, okay. but it is a unshift. This is really not cool. Unshift actually uh, has a linear time of k. So f suppose there are uh, k k square plus k k square if we could omit the yeah we couldn't because our shift you know hmm any better solution collection sword what is this wow what 
uh, uh, about space complexity. Uh, there's there's no space complex collection sort. We can sort the elements list by their absolute difference values to target x, and then sublist the first k elements. Is the result? <gasps> Fantastic, but the time is not good. Binary search and two pointers. Oh yeah, this is the what we're doing. Hmm. So the two pointers, what what did did do? Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We don't need to actually shift. We just keep keep the index and we could do the slice. Wow, genius. Okay, so if So for this case, actually, uh we will start the ij is at j, and uh, the closest one will be i. Okay, uh, let's set the count. Okay, let count equal zero. Well, count smaller than k. Okay, we count plus one. So I, this will I move to the next one. J move to the next one into the break, right? So I J will not be uh, included. So we return, return the A R R slice I plus one by J. <laughs> Result is undefined. Where is the result? Where? Oh, God, there's no. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, whoa, it's much faster. So actually, we are actually log n, but with plus k. Hmm. This is much better. Um, about the way of how we handle this, we actually um, modify the original array. I find this very very easy to understand, and uh, keep 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 us. So uh, this will help us avoiding uh, the edge cases like left or right. I, I'm always make mistakes of them, so I hope this could be uh, acceptable. And uh, I will do a separate video about the binary search. Well. When there is the element, when they were searching the position right before it and the position right after it, something like this. Okay, uh, stay tuned. And uh, yeah, that's all for this for for, for this one. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.